Hello. And welcome back to Taz Wales 12. You're on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Wales 12. I am the host of Tara Wales. And today's video is gonna be a Poundland beauty makeup haul. I know that you guys love these videos and luckily Poundland is bringing loads of the makeup products, which is really, really good. I had a sneaky look at some of them because some of them are really good bargains and fine. I have had a sneaky little look. But I want to get on into the video, but I've got to do the nitty gritty stuff first, which is if you like any of the products or like the video or the content that I'm doing, then please give it a massive thumbs up because it helps me out, helps the video out. And then I know that you guys want to see more of them. So definitely massive thumbs up. You can subscribe to Taz Wells 12 by hitting the subscribe button and joining us and the little love family be great there are load more subscribers coming to join so that's absolutely great comment down below if you like any of the products or have bought something out of poundland beauty products before and tell me about it down below then we can have a little conversation i'll 100 percent come back to you can you check out my other social medias out which is instagram and twitter they are both on a clickable button on my main page and you can follow like comment anything you would like that would be great please the video is not sponsored by poundland or any of the brands that i do mention it is all out of my own money and i just thought these were great finds for you guys to see more than anything that is everything let's get on into the poundland makeup beauty haul Firstly, I just want to add into this video that I got two items that are not beauty related, but I just want to show you because they were so, so good. And I was so, so impressed with these products in the store. And the first one is this card. I thought this card was really, really good. This is a 3D pop out card and it just pops out like that, like a bunch of flowers in a basket. And I absolutely loved it. I was like, Oh my god, that's such an amazing card for like a pound, you know what I mean? If you got that anywhere else, that could at least cost you about two or three pounds. I was really impressed with them. They do really, really good cards. If you're ever looking for a good card for anyone, either go to Asda or Poundland because they do really... But Poundland are doing amazing cards at the moment. I saw loads in there I could have got. That was really, really good, but that was the first one. And now I'm going to show you the second card that I got in there too quickly i just want to say about this card that is from poundland just look at how pretty that is for a pound that is pretty damn amazing Two some amazing cards so like i said that was just something i wanted to show you because i thought they were good and amazing if you ever want a card please go down to poundland and have a check there the actual first beauty item i'm going to start with is this and i actually have seen this going around on tiktok and youtube but this powder is amazing i have tried to find this powder before i've seen them a couple of times but like the darker shades but this one i got in a pressed powder and it's a translucent one super soft matte powder for a shine free finish and it contains vitamin e and it's just like that it's a bit more yellowy tone than i thought it was actually gonna be like a more beige yellow tone i think this was only a pound because this is from that old range. I know that they're coming out with a new range at the moment. But I saw the translucent one in there. And I was like, I'm going to get this. It's a a review because I have got a Maybelline one that I use absolutely all the time. My damn favourite is a matte poreless like, powder. And that's in translucent. And that is pure white. But I do want to try this out and just see if this is like a second best. Because that powder is like four or five pounds when this is just a pound. I might do a comparison video on my face, like one half and the other half for this. But I had to get this because some people are absolutely raving about this at the moment. 
Then I actually got some W7 products in there. I know W7 are pretty damn cheap anyway, but to the fact that they are a pound, that is definitely cheaper than the website or what I've got from Home Bargains. But I've got two here to show you. I'll go through one of these first. I left them all in their packets because I wanted to show you what packets they come in and also that they were proper sealed up because no one wants a bit of makeup that someone's tampered with. The first one I got was this. I've already got one of these, so I know that they're really, really good. I was hoping I'd pick a different shade up and I actually have, so which is really, really good. So these are W7 Velvet Secret Matte Lip Color. And I got this in color easy. And you probably tiny, tiny little bit can see there's a seal there. So there was quite a few different shades, but I normally try and go for the like, the sort of, beigeous colour I can find. I know that looks a bit mauvey. It's really hard to tell in a bottle if that makes sense, but I try and go for a, like a, not a complete like nudie colour, but like, you can see, I think that'd be all right. Like it looks more nudie, like near my skin colour than it actually does in the bottle. For a pound, what can you go wrong for, for a lip colour? And I know these are lovely from W7 and they're probably a little bit more expensive on the website. And then the other one that I found was this, and I'm quite intrigued about this because I've not seen this, and this looks amazing because basically I had to try and find the lighter shade. They had loads of these at the time. I think the one I picked up before was a darker shade, and then I was like, oh, that looks lighter, so I'll go for that one. That's what it looks like. And this is W7 Hideout full coverage concealer and there's 9m in here I'll tell you what shade is w7 hideout is a matte lightweight concealer that gives full coverage where needed and hides imperfections all day long apply as required shake well before use obviously you're not going to do that because i'm going to do that on a video i don't kind of know what sort of top this is i don't know if it's got an applicator where it comes out or it's got a pump bottle and i take the lid off i'm not kind of sure what this is i'm a little bit confused but also it doesn't really have the shade on it like i said i tried to go for the lightest as possible because i normally like a really light concealer to hide my horrible bags i tried to go for the lightest one i could then i got a max factor foundation it's a bit worse for wear i'll tell you why so they had a few of these and i really really wanted one and again i looked for the lighter shade because i do not like a dark foundation i wanted the lighter shade this one is in golden 75 and that's what it looks like for a pound i couldn't Think physically go wrong with this and there were some other ones that were there and i was like i was gonna go for them i saw this and i was like oh yeah i think that's gonna be about right it's gonna be the lightest one they've got so this is from mac factor and it's the healthy skin harmony a miracle foundation healthy look complex i think someone had tampered with it as well which was a bit naughty I don't know why, I think they were trying to steal it, which is really bad for a pound, for Christ's sake. I know it's a foundation, but you're still getting it for a cheaper price. You bought this out of Superdrug, it's like 14, 15 pounds. Do you know what I mean? Like, just buy it for a pound, for Christ's sake. But when, obviously because the bottle top was clear, I could see that they hadn't really pumped it out. There's none on the pump, so that's good. I think they just just being naughty and trying to steal it and probably someone got caught because a load of stuff was on the bottom you know that's when someone's trying to steal it but that is really good and i will do a review on this if it's a little bit dark i can tone it down i've got a toner but i think that could be all right i'm a bit off and on with max fact uh, foundations because i bought one before i think it was on home bargains wasn't totally impressed with it i still got it I don't know if I've done a review on it, I can't really remember, but yeah, I wasn't impressed, but I thought, you know what, I love doing these makeup videos for you, and I love testing these out, and sometimes these 
like the off random foundations have been like the absolutely best foundations for a pound what can you do and then the last load of items were from crate which i didn't even think you were ever going to see it in poundland for really cheap because i the only place i have literally seen these is so i think in like a glossy box they come or my friends give it to me or I've seen it in TK Maxx and it's never this cheap. I grabbed quite a few of these items because I couldn't believe they were in there and there was some good gems in there. So I'm going to show you them now. First one I'm going to start with is this Crate Chrome Liquid Duo Chrome Lip Lacquer. Like this. So they had these in two sort of shades and I only wanted to get one really because this is not something I will like always use so on the side it says take a lip color to a new dimensions with the great london's liquid chrome color shifting shade flipping duo chrome pigments have been added to high shine gloss for an attraction grabbing pout that's out of this world and then you've got like little instagram and bit others that's totally fine i will absolutely use this because i will be doing videos on it i i couldn't believe when i saw this stuff i'm actually going to get it out of the box so i think this is an aurora so it's a u r o r a it's very very tiny there and i had to have a like a look at this it doesn't really affect it it's like that which actually when i got home i was like oh i probably would use that more than a lighter one because it's like a brownie so if you had like a brown lipstick or a nude lipstick you could put this over the top so this will definitely be getting tested and i thought i was pretty impressed with that look at the packaging looks amazing as well like can't believe these for a pound it's unbelievable next load of items are literally the same sort of style of item but they're in three different colours. The one I will show you first, which I thought would go really good with that like lip lacquer, was this one. So again, from Cray, I saw these first actually, and then I saw the lip lacquer, and I was like, oh, I'm really intrigued in that. I was like, oh, it's like a brown on the front. I'm quite intrigued. It's a liquid velvet, matte liquid lipstick. Take your matte lip colour from coffee to cocktails, with a liquid velvet liquid lipstick apply one coat of color for long lasting high pigment pucker perfection and this is on in obsession and it's like this brownie nude love the packaging the packaging looks so bougie and the product looks really really nice actually so that's a really 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 dark brown and this would be really good because I have actually a couple of brown lipsticks to use and also I've got like a brownie lip gloss from I Heart Revolution that would go over the top of this or you could use that lip lacquer because that was sort of a brownie colour so that's that one. But you should never doubt Poundland for stuff and always go and check your beauty section but every beauty section is different to the next because I have been in other Poundlands and I found other good items. Now the next one is this so it's exactly the same but you can see this is like a more nudier one so this is the ones i picked up and i was like oh yep yeah, these are definitely my street and this one is in oh honey oh if you got a good nude a good nude for a pound like oh my god obsessed obsessed these are amazing they're like really really nice colors i don't know what they're like as an actual product on the lips but we would definitely test them together but that one was oh honey and lastly looking through i then saw another nude and i was like i'm sure there's a different sort of color because you hold these two up together this one's more of a pinky and this one's more of a beigey sort of peachy color you can sort of see the little bit of difference so then i saw this one exactly the same as the other two and this one is in delight I thought once I can find names, I know that they're going to be different. And this, this one I'm more obsessed with because I think this one's going to look like that would be, you can see that, that would be lovely, absolutely lovely with a brown eye look or 
a nice smoky eye like that's a perfect nude like I was obsessed with these because I was like oh my god when you find some good bargains in Poundland you like makeup ones I get so happy on because that lately makeup stuff has been pucker like you cannot fault it I've found so many products at the moment that was the last one unfortunately this is unfortunately come to the end of the pound lad beauty makeup haul i hope that you like the products there was some good little buys in there like i said in this video do not doubt pound lad do never doubt it because there is some good little things if you want to buy like something maybe out of super drug or something go and check pound lad because like i said if you want concealer you might have wanted this instead you can always go and buy the one from super drug that you always want but if you want a nice cheapy one, the cheapy one could be 10 times better and you could get a good little bargain there. You can always try it out there, there and then when you get home. If you like it, go back to, straight to the shop and go and get it literally that day or the next day because you will miss out. That's the problem with this. Like I said, there are people that try and steal these products when they don't need to because they are damn, damn cheap. So please do not steal these from the shop because that's not worth it at the end of the day. But these are all the products i hope that you did like the video then please give it a massive thumbs up or any of the content i am showing you or products then please give it a thumbs up i will will be doing makeup videos again i'm trying my best there's just bits on it in my personal life going on there's loads of other things that i am trying to do these videos for you still and trying to race my sort of normal life because this is my hobby this isn't my job they will be coming i'm just trying to find the time if that makes sense you can always come and join the little love family in case you do love these um beauty hauls i've kind of done like poundland ones and i've kind of done high bargains ones because i've found w7 stuff out of there so it's a bit of each mixture so definitely they will be more coming as more as i can find these products i will definitely come to you and then i'll do the tester video definitely have a check out for that so yeah like i said you can join the taswells 12 love family and youtube journey and check out my other social medias by the clickable button comment down below the video is not sponsored by poundland or any of the brands i did show you it's all out of my own money it's just an advice video for you guys to know what's good going on there and that is everything thank you for watching as always thank you for supporting have a lovely day or a lovely evening and i'll see you soon guys